John Brown, he's Keith Souch. And I'm Keith Souch, and he's John Brown. And welcome to the very, very first... Number one. TGS update. TGS update number one. Wow. On TV. For September 2015. September 2015. Just in, in case... You want to watch it again later. Just, just yeah, and just in case that thing below us is wrong. <laughs> and it's lying to you about the upload date. But anyway, okay. moving on. Moving on. Starting <laughs> off the news. Fresh off the press. Fallout 4 season pass, yeah. Okay, now this this right. is your area of expertise. So they're going to charge you thirty pounds, thirty pounds for the season pass. Uh, for DLC, they haven't even thought about yet. Really? Yay! <laughs> I mean, this is generally. I mean, most games now they come with season pass, and then you get like a seventeen megabyte update, and you get updated, and it's stuff that already existed on the game. This is like so Bethesda. The though, idea right? that yeah, this is Bethesda. So the idea that it's going to be fresh is kind of a good thing. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. It's going to be brand new stuff. They're going to see how people get on with the game and then make something from there. <laughs> I think that thirty pounds is probably okay because generally their DLC going from what they did with Elder Scrolls mm -hmm. and what they did with Fallout in the past, huge amounts. They they do give good quality for money. So it has to be said. I'm hoping it's going to be you know about forty fifty pounds worth of content for the thirty pound DLC. I think it's going to work out all right. I've got faith in Bethesda, but the fact that they have no idea what the DLC is going to be yet. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. The Wii! Yay! You! The Wii U has... You! Uh, me! Wii! Wii! Has we. a new game! You! Wii U has a game? Does anyone care? What is the No! Name? The Wii U is the spell one from the Wii with the big thing that no one bought. The Wii U has a game! Apparently. So, follow on from their other game they had recently, being uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. Which was awesome! That's right. By the way. Oh. Woo not to be Yoshi's Willy World or anything like that. No, 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 Woolly no. World. Woolly. I, I loved that game. Yeah, I was the only was, one that cheered for it in the whole it room. It was great. It was great. It was Yoshi's fantastic. Willy World. Uh, so <laughs> you said Willy last time. Yeah. yeah, I did. Okay. So That's now, so Mario Maker. I saw Yoshi's Willy once. Yeah. Current <laughs> gen machine. Mario Maker. Anyone? Yeah. Well, we get to make our own 8-bit and 16-bit Mario games. That would be awesome. It would be awesome. If I, I wasn't about, so lazy, that would be amazing. I about five minutes before there were tunnel levels online that are available with towers in the shape of great big dicks. Uh, okay, I was going to give it a day. <laughs> five yeah. minutes, I think it's I fair. Think it's fair. It's fair. I think it's fair. Do you think? Like, it's probably going to be you. But it's cool. Like, we're going to be able to get to... Like, I'll be able to get to, get into the integration, into building my own levels and all the rest of it. Whereas you, yourself, you'll probably use just the... Yeah, I'll, I, I, I play other people's levels. Yeah, I play other people's levels. I want to see what other Infinite people come Infinite Mario with. Brothers. Yay! Yeah, there you go. Yay! So that's probably retailing. Yeah, it's retailing right now. Came in about 30, 40 quid. Is uh, number two in the UK, just behind Metal Gear Solid, which is number one for a second week running. That's because it's amazing. It is amazing. If you haven't bought it already, go out and do that now, unless it's sold out. Everybody likes it. Yeah, game's sold out. Apart from game's Ruben, out, who couldn't buy it okay. because it was sold out. Okay, so, Telltale Games! Yay! Yay! Games. Yay! How can they do? Can they do any wrong? Not the final part of... Borderlands! Have Borderlands. Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> Brain <laughs> farm moment. Uh, Tell <laughs> Borderlands, uh, one of my favourite games of the Telltale uh, genre. It's been fantastic, been funny. Oh, it's everything a Borderlands game should be. I think it's fair to say that it is the best Telltale I game think it yet. Is. And then I think they get better. Game of Thrones! Yay! 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 It's been very faithful to the series. It's got all the proper uh, voice actors. It's, it's all good. It's all good. But now, The Walking Dead Season 3. This autumn? <gasps> Maybe. It's apparently, due to Twitter and little notes says that TWD will be returning this fall, which for all you UK people is American for autumn. autumn. <laughs> Because that's when the leaves fall. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and so they've got something else coming as well. A new surprise. That's not Minecraft. And not Jurassic Park. Uh, yes, obviously it's probably not going to be Jurassic Park, which is only available in the US, you lucky, lucky buggers. We'd like that over here, please, if you could. So Enjoy what would that. you like to see as a Telltale game? I think Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon? I think that would make That'd it be interesting. Tale. It would be interesting. Or Die Hard or something like that. Yeah, like, like a classic I 80s actioner. Going thing. 80s, I think that Ghostbusters would be a great yes. Telltale game. I agree. Horror element, funny, stuff that they do really, really well. And you know, the, like as proper close Ghostbusters, to, you know, like yeah. Ackroyd and, and like Murray. I think that would be the way to go. Not girls. Not the girls one. No, no, girls. Which, no, girls. no girls. No. No. Really? Yeah. Chris, it, might, it might be funny. Chris Hemsworth. Okay, yeah, as Janine. That's Janine Mellon. Is he actually right. called Janine? In the no, no, no. He's he's I definitely think be playing. He's definitely called Janine. No, he's playing. <laughs> no, he's playing the secretary, but I don't think he's playing a woman. Okay, the iPhone success. Yay! I success. Think. I think. Sounds, yay. Sounds like success. There's hopefully it's been more successful than the previous uh, iteration of the iPhone six. Does I mean, it? it's going to have better vibrate? Like, 
Can I fold it in half? Yeah, does possibly. It, does it, does it, it, does it, it does stand for should not bend? Does it bend? <laughs> does it know. bend? Can you use it as a boomerang? We don't know. But it's available to pre-order now, and it's also available in pink. Woohoo! Woo! Pink! Everyone loves pink out there. He's gonna probably get one of those. I bought a pink phone once. Did you? Mm-hmm. Was it the one from like, uh. Batfink? No. No. Okay. Disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny! The Taking King! Yay! 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 It's out <laughs> and it's here to steal all of your money! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Taking King is like £40. Ding! Rant time! £40. <laughs> <laughs> If you already have like Destiny and uh, all the, uh, I'm okay with this. All the DLC previously, you've already spent seventy pounds on this product, and now you've got to pay another forty. But if you haven't got all those products and you're starting from scratch, it's only going to cost you fifty-five pounds instead of a whopping one hundred and fifteen pound you would have already spent otherwise. So are we getting ripped off? Do Bungie owe some money? Do they owe us like a hit? Buy this for a tenner if you already have this and the DLC. Yes, I think they do. Yes, they do. Well, not Bungie, you know, Activision, the evil warlords that look after Bungie now. Yeah, if you're coming into it fresh, like I would be, yeah, and completely brand you're new, you're getting a bargain. Seriously, go out and buy it. Fifty-five pound for all that content, fantastic. Thanks, Bungie. For all of us that have been playing for two years, farming light and not getting anywhere, even though other people might find it accidentally and get further than you. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> Like, <laughs> we're getting ripped off. It's just flat out ripped off. So uh, write a letter to them. Or an email. You know, if, if you're in this century. Not or like send poo. Yeah. A, <laughs> send them poo. Carrier yeah. pigeon. I don't know. However you want to get the message to a them. A carrier they, pigeon. Oh, some that, money. A carrier pigeon that poos on them. That's that's the message. That okay. Giveaway time. <laughs> giveaway time. It is indeed giveaway time. So giveaway there time. we have... Yay! 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 more enthusiasm, please. Okay. okay. So not only do we have a te- Destiny poster, which we don't have here because we're useless, we also have <laughs> Super Mario <clears throat> Koopa Trooper from Series 2 collectible figures. Lovely jubbly. A 1980s style. Da, 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 da. Exactly like that. Bottle up McKeering. Bottle up McKeering, Transformers, and also, yeah, the Destiny So all poster. those goodies go to anybody, the first 10 people, one of you will be randomly selected. So the first 10 people to like, subscribe, and comment on this video and this channel. We'll be given these. We'll contact you back through the comment, and we'll get all your details, and we'll send them out to you. Like, comment, subscribe, yes. do other stuff, and we won't give your information to anybody that doesn't deserve to have it. Okay, it's just us. Just us. Shh. Just us. Just us. Okay. So we can give you stuff. All right. So like to stuff. Subscribe to stuff. All right. So, so long. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.